Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anuta the Crochet World and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos and today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a washcloth or a dishcloth. Here it is. It looks like this. It looks like this from the back and this is the front side. Here it is. And for this particular project, I've used my 100% cotton yarn and for this one, I've used a 4 mm of the hook. So let's begin. So here it is, heavy yarn and we will start with a slip knot. And now we will need our foundation chains in multiples of three. So here I'm going to go up to my 42 chains. So here it is, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And here it is, I've got my this 42 chains here. And now we will turn our work. So after this 42 chains, turn your work and we will work at the back side of our this chains. So here it is. This is the back side of my first chain. We're going to skip over this first chain and we will go to the second chain here. And here I'm going to insert my hook into my this second chain and we'll grab the yarn. I'm going to have two loops, yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops. And this is your first single crochet. And now we will have one single crochet on each of our this chains for our this row row number one and by the end of this row row number one we will have our 41 single crochets so keep on having one single crochet on each chain and i'm going to meet you at the end with my 41 single crochets one single crochet on each chain remember i'm working at the back side of my this chains so here it is these are the back bumps of our chains so keep on having one single crochet on each chain and i'm going to meet you after my row number one with my 41 single crochets here it is and here it is after my round number one got my this 41 single crochets here and now for my round number two i will chain one and will turn my work and here again i'm gonna have one single crochet on each stitch so for that here it is skip this chain one this is your chain one go to this first stitch insert your hook into this first stitch and have one single crochet go to this next one insert your hook grab a yarn and have one single crochet and now keep on having one single crochet on each stitch and again for this row row number two you're going to have your 41 single crochets and i'm going to meet you at the end of this row row number two with my 41 single crochets here it is and here it is after my row number two got my this 41 single crochets one single crochet on each stitch and it looks like this now for our round number three we will chain one and we will turn our work here it is and now for our round number three for the first two stitches we will have one single crochet on each stitch so here it is this is our chain one we will skip over this chain one we will go to this first stitch insert your hook into this first stitch here grab a yarn and have one single crochet Go to this next stitch insert your hook grab a yarn and have one single crochet so here it is first two stitches have one single crochet on each stitch and now for your third stitch we will go down to this third stitch on our round number one so here if you will see this is your first stitch of your round number one this is your two legs of your this one single crochet if you can see it so this is your first single crochet this is your second single crochet and this is your third single crochet. Here it is, just down to your this stitch. So here, if you will go down to the stitch, you will find your stitch slightly on your left side. Here it is. So if you will see from here, this is your chain one, chain two and chain three. So we will go to this chain three, just go top of the chain three and you will find your this two legs of your this one single crochet, this one. Here it is. This one. So count your this chain three from here. It's one, two, and three. Go on the top and you will find your this stitch here. This one. This is your stitch. Now here for our third stitch, we will go to this third single crochet. So it's one, two, and three. This is your third single crochet. This one insert your hook into this third single crochet like this so we will insert our hook into this first row here like this and have one front post double crochet so for that 
yarn over and go to that space insert your hook like this and yarn over and grab your yarn you're gonna have three loops on your hook yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops so here it is you got your this front post double crochet but your front post double crochet is on your this single crochet of your row number one so here it is you got your this row number one your third stitch and you got your this third front post double crochet of your row number three here now again for our next two stitches one and two we will have one single crochet on each stitch so always remember just turn your work and this is your last stitch you've already worked on this stitch you got your this front post double crochet so this stitch is already taken we will go to this next two stitches so here it is go to this next stitch grab yarn and have one single crochet go to this next stitch insert your hook grab yarn and have one single crochet here it is and now again skip your this next two stitches so this is your last worked stitch this is your last work stitch skip it this next stitch and the stitch after that and go to this third stitch and here again we're gonna have one front post double crochet so for that yarn over insert your hook into this space grab your yarn and have one front post double crochet here and we will repeat over this pattern all the way on our this row row number three so again this is your next stitch this one is already worked so as we have about this front post double crochet this one is already taken we will go to this next two stitches and here we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch one and one again on this one we will have a front post double crochet so for that we will go down to row number one so here it is again this is your last work stitch so this is your next stitch and this is your stitch after that and that's gonna be your third stitch so here you're gonna have your front post double crochet like this yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops so here it is it's one and two and it looks like this now keep on repeating this pattern all the way until the end and i'm gonna meet you on my this third last stitch here so i'm going to meet you on my this third last stitch and my this third last stitch will have a front post double crochet and for this remaining two stitches we're going to have one single crochet on each stitch so our last two stitches will be one single crochet on each stitch so our front post stitch will be on our this third last stitch so keep on repeating your pattern all the way until the end and i'm going to meet you here on my this third last stitch so again for your this next stitch you're gonna have your front post double crochet so for that skip at this next stitch skip at the step a stitch after that go to the stitch here yarn over and insert your hook into this space like this yarn over and grab your yarn yarn over pull your yarn through two loops yarn over pull your yarn through two loops next two stitches have one single crochet on each stitch again your third stitch will be a front post double crochet here it is keep on repeating this pattern and i'm gonna meet you at the end and here it is after my row number three it looks like this and i'm here on my this third last stitch and now for my next two stitches i'm gonna have my this one single crochet on each stitch and that's how we're gonna have our 41 stitches on our this row row number three with our single crochets and front post double crochet and it looks like this now for your round number four we will have one single crochet on each stitch so for that again chain one turn your work and keep on having one single crochet on each stitch and by the end of this row round number four we're going to have our 41 single crochets and i'm going to meet you at the end so just keep on having one single crochet on each stitch and i'm going to meet you at the end of this row round number four with my 41 single crochets here it is after my row number four it looks like this and now for the row number five chain one and turn your work so we will be here in the front and we're going to repeat our pattern so here it is now onwards our pattern is going to be so simple so easy so here it is first two stitches we're going to have one single crochet into each stitch so have this chain one go to this first stitch and have one single crochet go to this next one and have one single crochet so first two stitches have one single crochet on each stitch and now we will go to this 
double crochet here. So here we're going to have one more front post double crochet on top of this double crochet. So for that yarn over, insert your hook into this double crochet here. Now we're going to have a front post stitch here. So we will insert our hook like this and now yarn over and grab your yarn and have one front post double crochet. And it looks like this. Now again, for next two stitches, we will have one single crochet on each stitch. And for your third stitch, we will have a front post double crochet on top of this double crochet. Here it is. Again, next two stitches, we will have one single crochet on each stitch. And on this third stitch, we will have one front post double crochet on top of this double crochet here. And now keep on repeating this pattern all the way until the end. And remember, your last front post double crochet will be here on your this third last stitch and your this last two stitches will be one single crochet on each stitch. So keep on repeating your pattern all the way until the end and I'm going to meet you at the end. And remember, you're going to have your 41 stitches here. I'm going to meet you at the end here on my round number five. And here it is. After my round number five, it looks like this. And now keep on repeating your round number four and five until your round number 46. So here it is. Again, for your round number six, we will repeat our round number four here. So for that, chain one, turn your work and have one single crochet on each stitch all the way until the end of this row. And you're going to have your 41 single crochets. So keep on having one single crochet on each stitch. We are repeating row number four here for our this row, row number six. Here it is after my row number six it looks like this and now for your round number seven we will repeat our round number five so chain one and turn your work and we will be here on the front and we will have one single crochet on each stitch for our first two stitches and our third stitch will be a front post double crochet so we'll go down to the stitch and we will have one front post double crochet on top of our this double crochet and again for next two stitches we will have one single crochet on each stitch and again for our this third stitch we will have a front post double crochet on top of a double crochet here it is again next two stitches we will have one single crochet on each stitch and again for this third stitch we will have a double crochet on top of a double crochet here and here it is your pattern will look like this now keep on repeating your round number four and five until your round number 46 and remember your round number 46 will be a one single crochet on each stitch and i'm going to meet you after my round number 46 so here it is it looks like this and go up to your round number 46 and i'm going to meet you after that and here it is after my round number 46 i'm here and my work looks like this here it is and now i'm here on my this last stitch and here i'm gonna chain up 20 so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen and twenty chain up 20 and go to this same stitch your last stitch and grab your yarn and have one slip stitch here Here it is and now we have created our this loop here and now we will cut our yarn cut your yarn secure your this last stitch here and now we will hide over this end in so for that we will have our this needle and here i'm gonna have a little knot just to secure my this yarn enough i'm gonna hide my this end in and i'm gonna meet you after that here it is here it is and i'm gonna hide my this end as well and here it is your washcloth or your this this cloth is ready it looks like this here it is you got your this loop here as well 
and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have like please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye